Now, typically, to create an appointment that you want to share with somebody else, you go to the, the calendar app, and you don't even have to choose one of your accounts that you have if you have more than one in there. But you simply go over here to a time, and you say, okay, uh, I want to add it to that particular calendar. And you just select that particular one, and it adds it there. But that won't send it to anybody else. What you have to instead do is go into the details, and then over here, type in somebody's name on the right over here, and uh, add them to the uh, appointment. But instead of doing that, we're going to show you how to create an appointment in a shared calendar, where all you have to do is click on the uh, interface over here and select it. So first you need to go to your account. You can just go to your account from your uh, drop down on the top right. But you eventually end up in the account. And you can add a family member by clicking on this plus sign down here. Uh, what's good to note is you can add a child or an adult. Now I'm not going into too much detail here, but you can add, if you add a child, you can restrict some of the things they can do uh, on your overall account. By the way, they also charge you 50 cents just because it's a required safety thing. Uh, but if you add an adult, all you have to do is click on adult and add the uh, email address. Now once you add an Outlook account, you just type in the uh, one there or you can create one. Uh, once you do that, uh, that will enable uh, this uh, send invite to go out uh, to that person's email address. So what they'll get is they'll get an email like this and down here you'll see at the bottom it says that they can accept the invitation and that's for security purposes and now they'll be a member of the family. Because you don't ma manage your account from within the app, you have to go out to the internet to do that. So we'll go on here in, in Outlook, and then we'll come down here at the bottom and click on the calendar down here. You'll see here's everything here, and you can have several calendars uh, set up. But here's the family calendar, but you don't see anything uh, showing here. So if I click on it, you'll see that it's updating up here. And after for the first time through, it has to sync everything up. And should finish here in a second. There it is. If I look at Family Account, now I've already made one called Movies because I've already sent my wife an invitation. Now this will work as is, but there's one more option you should go ahead and do. Go on the top right over here. Go down here to Options. Click on it. And come over to the left and get down to uh, near the bottom. Skip all these other options about mail. Get down to your calendar. Get down here where it says uh, under Shared Calendars and Calendar Updates and you'll see so you can receive email for it a notification when someone updates this. So you want to make sure that's uh, checked so that they get emails and it allows them to see they have a new appointment. Now besides you, you have to uh, uh, go to the other person's account, which we did. You know, she's already accepted. My wife here has already accepted the uh, thing, but you see her calendar isn't displaying anything because she has to be set up just like you were in order to display stuff. So just like I did on my account, we go down here and we have to click on this to have it show up in the calendar. And you'll see over here, there's the uh, appointment I made for 130 movies. And I also went up to the top right corner and clicked on options again to make sure that they're checked here so that she gets emails about an addition to the calendar. Now that's very important that she gets those emails or your person gets those emails because then they know it's been added. It also helps synchronize the systems behind the scenes. Now in Gmail, it's a little different. You have to go to the calendar in Gmail here. And uh, here under uh, your account, you have to be logged in. What you need to go is up here to My Calendars and say Create New Calendar. So once you've gone through creating it, you want to go in here and now set up certain uh, features of it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, click on the Edit Notifications here. And we're going to go to the page that sets all your different things about this particular account. So let's go ahead and click on that. And you'll see here that you have several things to uh, look at. First of all, I'm going to turn on email notifications. That's number one. So I'll go over here to the right and click on email. I'm going to do the rest for all the rest of these features as well. I'm going to want to get uh, change notifications and all that. That way, uh, the person gets an email in their account uh, which draws their attention that the calendar has changed. So we click on the Save button down here, and that will save your calendar. Now at first, if you go back to Outlook, it won't show up. It'll take a while, quite a while actually for this to sync. But eventually you're going to see this kind of thing where you have shared uh, calendars, both on incoming and outgoing Gmail. 
Now, once you have this all set up, it's fairly straightforward uh, to send emails to other people without having to copy them inside the email. You just come over here, and there's the family calendar. And by the way, I have the one underneath my Gmail account as well for friends of old GG. But now, I don't have to do anything here. Just make sure that that is enabled. I'm over here now, creating an event. I clicked on the time, and you see the family calendar is there. So there it is in the drop-down. So all I have to do is select it in the drop-down and say add, and there it is. Now, you do have to be a little careful here. It defaults to the calendar that was last selected. So you have to change it or look at it each time. Now, it's not much different for the Gmail appointments as well. Uh, you can just do it with using the drop-down as well. Now, I'm going to clear out movies here. And on Gmail calendar, you'll see that all you have to do is scroll down and select the proper one. In this case, it's Friends of OGG. And it'll appear on the calendar as well. So after you've made all these configuration changes uh, and you've sent an email, you can go see what, uh, what happens. Now here, this is the one my wife sent to me. And don't pay too much attention to this time from the server time on the appointment. That's really not the time of it. What you want to do is ignore that and go into your email or your calendar and click on that. And you'll see there it is, uh, 11 to 1 p.m. It's got the correct date and time and all that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and back out of this. You'll see it on the calendar over there. And here's a view of the uh, one with both the Outlook appointments and the uh, shared uh, Friends of OGG on the Gmail side of the house. Now, I know there's not too many of us out there that have Windows phones, but uh, this is where I receive my email. Now, there's Outlook apps, uh, mail apps for uh, and calendar uh, for the whole office suite on Android and iOS, so you can have it as well. So let's take a look at uh, what I see on mine. So uh, here's the detail for the, my weekly schedule or for my uh, calendar. And you see, I created two appointments, by the way, for testing, one at 1.30 and one at 2.30, and here they are on my phone. If I go over to her phone, you'll see that on her live tile, uh, she has uh, the two appointments there as well, um, because you're on a Windows uh, phone. Uh, here's the one that notification that she got saying, hey, uh, here you got an appointment that came in on the family calendar. And here's her uh, monthly view with a one-day highlight. You can see there it is. There's the uh, two movie appointments uh, on the 18th. So there you have it. Not only can you use the Mail app to uh, create appointments on Outlook or Gmail, but you can actually create shared calendars with your families and easily with just one click simultaneously add an appointment to their calendar.